शुभ सन्ध्या तुम्हारे सकल के स्नेहशीष जानिए आज के अभी एक नतून कविता पढ़ा द्वदश श्रेणी छात्र छात्री कविताटर नाम द पोट्री अफ आर्थ कविर नाम जन किट्स जन किट्स वज द रोमान्टिक इंग्लिस पोएट he that means john kitts was one of the main figures of second generation of romantic poets amra jani romantic age er je panch jon obosshombhabi ebong khonojonma kobi chilen tader moddhe tini chilen ekjon william wordsworth samuel taylor coleridge lord byron percival sisley ebong john kitts protteker प्रत्येक कविर एक एक आलदा इंडिविजुअलिटी छो जार जन्े ता तर दिखे ता तर फिल्डे सारा विश्व समान दिख जन किट्स बेसिकाली वज फेमस फर हिज कम्पोजिशन अफ साच फैंटिक पोएम्स एक्चुअल हिज पोएम्स अल अफ हिज पोएम्स वज कैटरज बै सेंसुअल इमेजरि lively images hellenism transcendence of beauty of death and at the same time his intuitive connection with nature in his poems basically we find mystical concepts he focuses on the mystical concepts of nature that provides the poet that provided the poet ultimate delight john kitts er kobitar ekta uniqueness hocchen tini tar kobitate sensual images gulo use korten jeta ke bola hoy kitsian sensuousness ebong bola hoy synesthesia this is a particular term synesthesia is used for the poems of john kitts john kitts er kobita gulo amra jodi pori amra dekhbo so lively vibrant images emon bhabe tini use korchen prakriti theke actually nature provides soul inspiration for his composition of poems from nature he took inspiration that provides delight in all, all of his poems actually tar je onar je kobita वनार कवित जिसमें इमेजगुल्लो उन्नी एत सुंदर भाव यूज करतें जेखने सेंसुअल पावरगुल्लो जेगे उठते से किटसियन सेंसुअलनेस अलफैक्टरि गस्टेटरि टैक्टाइल भिजुअल समस्त सेंसिटिव दिकगल वनार इमेजेस इमेजेसगुल लक्ष्य करी देखते पाँच घ्राण सूचक स्पर्श सूचक दृष्टि सूचक श्रवण सूचक नाना रकम जो चक्षुकोन नासिका जीव तक तो ये पाँचा सेंस आज हाँ ये गैसटेटरि पावर अल फैक्टरि पावर टैक्टाइल पावर ये समस्तगुलो जेगे उठत तरह असामान्य इमेजारिगुलर मध्य दिए इन टोटल हि कम्पोज फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट लामिया एडोनियस तर हे ओट्यू नाइटांग ओट्यू अचम तर जुगानकारी सृष्टि हाइपरियन डोनियस लामिया समस्त कवितागुल पढ़ी तर मध्य हेलेनिजम थे शुरू कर ट्रांसजेंस अफ दिवटी अफ डेथ अच्छा तरह हे इंटुसिव कनेक्शन उथथ नेचार ये फीचार्सगुलगर पे जैक ये संक्षिप्त किट्स के लिए आलोचना जो वार्सवाथ के पढ़ी पढ़ाई वार्सवाथर कन्सेप्ट हे P2 theories. What are the P2 theories? One is paganism, another is pantheism. Similarly, uh, if we discuss, if we analyze the poems of John Keats, basically the features that go side by side, it is about his uh, sensuousness, about his Hellenism and mystical concept. Whatever. Now come to the particular poem, uh, the poetry of Earth. It is an Italian or that means Petrarchan sonnet. It is divided into eight classic concepts. 
octet and cestet pattern. Octet is consisted of eight lines and cestet is consisted of six lines. Actually, the poem, this particular poem expresses its admiration at the same time, appreciation for nature in a powerful and observant way. In this poem, we notice, sorry, we notice the poet's admiration, the poet's appreciation for nature. Actually, uh, he took inspiration from nature. That provides delighted, that provides enlightenment, that provides delight to the poet. Similarly, here in the poem, we also notice the poet expresses, the poem expresses, gives us admiration and appreciation for nature in a powerful and observant way. तुमरा text टा खुलवे, पासे text टा रोए चे, देख बे octave के first line और वों sestet के first line इको टा same. Poetry of a, of art never ceases, never dead. Actually, cease means theme जवा, dead means मृत्यु. एक कोबिता ते हमरा देख बो. Here, actually, kids mainly focuses on the mystical aspects of nature, which provides inspiration for poetry. Here. The poet's gauge, the poet actually the poet is gazing something, and the poet's gauge intensifies ultimate eternal ethereal beauty in the where in the mundane realities of life. The very lucid theme, but this lucid theme has been expressed in a very extraordinary way. The ordinary things have been presented by the poet here in an extraordinary way. Hmm. Quite synonymous echo we found in one of his poems, one of his poems, that is Otto Atom. The poet says that uh, in nature there are some musicians. Who are the musicians? ए ही प्रकृति पे आमादर किशु म्यूजिशियन रोए चे आमादर बेस्तो तर जोन्नो आमले ऐतोटा ही आमादर निजे देर जोन्नो बेस्तो जे ए ही म्यूजिशियन एर म्यूजिक गुला आमादर स्वच्छरा चर चोके पड़े ना किंतु कोई देर जे पावरफुल कॉन्सेप्ट तादे जे पावरफुल इमेजरी एवं तामद अनुभव दु दुख होता है Nats, G N A T S, Nats, Cricket. Take by Ije Propitite Gigi Pokagulo, Gigi Gore Decayot. Ije Dash Pokagulo, Potongulo, Ije Gonga for Ingulo, Ije Robin Pakigulo, it that on over the music at Shegulo, Kobe Palpuna, on over the Amon of a time page only, Kobe that I like a fell then. We can only live in two atom, a can only dictionary. Atom ke present question during Atom basically uh, so many musicians are there in nature whose uh, the musician uh, produces such a fantastic and melodious uh, music that just soothes, soothes the entire nature whatever omit that particular discussion now come to that poet here uh, we also notice um, the poets has presented two musicians in octave uh, grasshopper and insisted cricket the music of summer is presented by grasshopper at the same time music of winter is presented by cricket now come to the title the poetry of art the very particular age of the poetry of art it is a good shanketic among symbolic money poetry of art pretty beat kobita Actually, Pithivir Kobita means what? Here, poetry stands for music. Here, poetry stands for symphony. Here, poetry stands for music. Nature has its own music. What is the music of? It is the symphony of nature. In octave, that means in the past eight lines, the poet has presented summer. In the last six lines has presented winter it is uh, uh, in an poetic way that means in an antithetical way it has been presented summer we notice 
a different picture and during winter we notice an another different picture grasshopper is the messenger of the music of summer cricket is the messenger of the music of winter grishokale ganga puring ke ganga puring hocche music er bahok ebong shitkale jijipoka hocche shitkale er music er bahok anaboddho sundor ekti kobita actually uh, come to the text now i am giving in detail the substance of octave actually uh, during summer what happens being exhausted being just tired with the suffocating heat of summer when the birds take a respite take rest in trees what happens at the very particular time from bushes that means from in the poem there is some uh, reference that is new moon met uh, from bushes uh, from hedge to hedges a music is heard what is the music of it is the music of grasshopper actually evaporations of music of grasshopper in the dreary summer just chobi ta bhabo গ্রীষ্মের দুপুর সমস্ত জীবকুল দগ্ধ সমস্ত জীবকুল যখন সেই গ্রীষ্মের প্রখর তাপে যখন একদম তৃষ্ণার্থ একদম হাঁপিয়ে উঠেছে তখন যখন সমগ্র পক্ষীকুল যখন নিজেদেরকে প্রশমিত করার জন্য গাছের তে আশ্রয় নেয় ঠিক সেই সময় সদ্য কাটা কুচি ঘাস থেকে মাঠেতে যেমন ফেলে রাখে কৃষকেরা সেখান থেকে গুনগুন গুনগুন করে একটা স্বর শোনা যায় এটা কিসের গান এটা হচ্ছে গ্রাস উপরের গান এবং কবি এখানে বলছেন দ্য মিউজিক অফ নেচার ইজ অ্যান ইজ এ কন্টিনিউয়াস প্রসেস ইট উইল নেভার কাম টু অ্যান ইট উইল বি কন্টিনিউইং ফর এভার ইট উইল নেভার কাম টু অ্যান ইট উইল নেভার সিজ ইট উইল নেভার স্পয়েল ফ্রম জেনারেশন টু জেনারেশন দিস মিউজিক উইল বি হার্ড অ্যান্ড দিস মিউজিক উইল ট্রিভেল ইন দ্য ল্যাপ অফ নেচার তাহলে অ্যাকচুয়ালি হোয়েন বিং টায়ার্ড being exhausted with the suffocating and scorching heat of summer uh, when the birds take respite at that very particular time the grasshopper uh, takes their journey the grasshopper starts their song and it is heard from hedge to hedges and this music uh, is so vibrant the evanescence of the music just conceal the freight of summer the freight of summer Uh, lies forgotten with the evanescence of the sweet essence of the grasshopper actually so vibrant and so spirited is grasshopper nothing dampers its spirit and uh, when the grasshopper is tired being tired when it takes rest under some pleasant words actually all the time Uh, it's just um, the grasshopper just is singing the song what is the singing of the song the humming of the grasshopper uh, should not be heard for the continuous period of time whenever it is tired whenever the grasshopper is tired and takes rest under some pleasant words another musician will start its music this is the reference of another season you know so when um, the grasshopper takes rest under some pleasant words what is the music what is the image this is a picture of calm and solace so uh, the song of grasshopper comes to an end that means summer is vanished that does not mean that the poetry of our that the music of our comes to an end forever when winter arises then there is an another musician whose song whose music whose symphony is going to be started so uh, in summer in octave the presentation of summer has been depicted by the poet ever sestete kobi bolchen ekta gloomy uh, time er bornona dicchen ekta shiter sondha charidike borokpat hocche charidike frostling 
रास्ता घाटे बसि लोकजन नहीं अद्भुत निरापत्ता और यद्भुत निरापत्ताटार मध्य खुद एक विषणतार छवि पाचे से ही समय स्टोव मैंने ग्रैसी को घासुक्त को पहाड़े ओपर थे एक श्रील स्वर एक तीक्षण स्वर भेजे आसान झिझी पोकार से ही समय क्यों जख ड्राउजिनेस जार मध्य एक झिमुनि आख से शांत हो गए परेशटाई एतटाई नीरव जा घुम घुम भाव आस तक झिझी पोकार गान तर मध्य एम एक सेंसेशन तैरी कर शीतकाले तो ग्रीष्मकाल के जान अनुभव कर ता एतटाई वार्म हो जा दिस इज द इमेज हियर इन्सेस्टेड द पोएट हेज प्रेजेंटेड ए Uh, gloomy atmosphere actually insisted a uh, nocturnal evening actually the image of an evening has been depicted and the uh, evening is gloomy because of what because it is frosting all over the outside and extreme silence is prevailing and deep profound silence is prevailing and during this silence whenever uh, someone or everyone is being drowsed at the very particular time from the very top of the hill from the very stove uh, from stove the shrill voice of cricket is heard actually uh, the image of lonely evening is the symbol of gloominess is the symbol of decadence and during this gloomy atmosphere during this silence atmosphere during this de uh, de de during the time of this decadence when everyone is half lost in darkness at that jokon karon moddhe ekta tondra ese jacche tik sei shomoye pahare uchcho sthan theke ekta jhiji pokar gaan shona jacche tara gaan ta shune etotai tader moddhe ekta sensation toiri hocche je sei sensation er moddhe diye tader hridoy ekta ushnota asche listening to the song of thrill voice grab voice of cricket there is an healing sensation within the mind of the people that very particular people who are half lost in drowsiness and this sensation is providing warmth within the uh, human beings as a result during winter they can feel the presence of a grasshopper that means they can feel the essence of summer so in a uh, alternative way in a cyclic order uh, the music of art that means symphony of art is being rotating it will never come to an end in the next year again summer will arise in the next time again winter will come in this way um, in say one of his earliest poems that means <coughs> to the west wind tell is saying that if winter comes can spring be far behind so if summer come then winter if winter then summer in a cyclic way it will be rotating and whenever the season will comes will come uh, in a cyclic order every year similarly in every year we will be able to listen to the song of grasshopper in summer and song of shrill voice of cricket in winter this is the echo actually uh, very common images very common concept but it has been presented in a rhythmic way uh, in an extraordinary way this is the mastery of john keats you know so this is the point and i think you all of you know the uh, rhyme scheme um, petarkan sonnet is actually a b b a b b a c d e c d or a b b a b b a c d e c d c d in this way 8 plus 6 structure this is called petarkan or italian sonnet so this is the poem you know basically two or three questions are set from this poem ekhon theke muloto dutu tinte kobitar proshno ase टाइटल पढ़े प्रथम लाइन टेस्टेटर प्रथम लाइन तुले दिए दोट्री और पार्टनर पर सीजन एक्सप्लेन द लाइन ए रखम कविता पढ़े अथवा गिव ए पेन पिक्चर अफ सामार और गिव ए पेन पिक्चर अफ उन्टर इन दिस वे बेसिकाली तुम्हारा सबस्टेंस भलोक देखे टाइटल देखे और सबस्टेंस टाइटल मध्य ही कवितार टोटल डिस्टा रही है स्टेटर एनालिस रही है दिस इज दम यू नो वन सेकेंड आई एम इन ब्रीफ telling the uh, gist or uh, substance of the poem the poem is subdivided into octave sestet pattern octave is divided or oh, sorry octave is consisted of eight lines and sestet is consisted of six lines in total there are 14 lines so that's why it's a sonnet what is a sonnet sonnet is a poem of 14 lines and it is written in iambic pentameter with an intricate rhyme scheme 
in the poem here we notice uh, that the poet is saying that the music of earth that means the symphony of earth will never come to an end it is a continuous process and it's not only it's a continuous process uh, uh, it will never come to an end it will be rotating and it will be pervading and it will be prevailing prevailing uh, generation to generation in the life of nature in octave the music of music of grasshopper the song of grasshopper has been presented being tired being suffocated being um, exhausted with the scorching or suffocating heat of summer when the entire birds when the birds take rest under some in some bushes sorry in the trees at that very particular time uh, from hedge to hedges the song of the music of grasshopper is heard and when grasshopper is tired and when they take rest under some pleasant words which is an image of actually calm and solace then another musician will start its music it is the music of cricket and here in such state uh, the image of cricket has been suggested and the picture of a very gloomy and uh, solitary winter evening has been presented when everyone is uh, just covered with the profound silence due to uh, frostling outside at that very particular time um, from the very top from the very top of the grassy hills the shrill voice of cricket is heard and at that very particular time when one is half lost in drowsiness the shrill voice of cricket presents such a sweet sensation within himself within themselves that they feel a warmth and through this warmth they can feel the presence and essence of summer as well as grasshopper in winter so in a cyclic way uh, the music of earth will be continuing forever and we the mundane human being will be able to listen or to have the essence of that voice of musical music uh, natural musicians forever in time to generation it is a continuous process it will never come to an end this is the point i think uh, all of you have guess my point and uh, go through my entire video from the very beginning till the last then you will have an idea and um, it is as usually my suggestion please sus subscribe uh, and please uh, forward this video and subscribe and please like my video and uh, wait for the new upcoming videos uh, thank you once again bhalo theko sustho theko thank you bye bye